What we're looking at here is called Anzac Panorama. It was drawn by Lieutenant L.F.S. Hoare, H-O-R-E, called himself George Hoare, came from Tasmania. He enlisted with the 8th Light Horse Regiment and they were sent dismounted, leaving their horses in Egypt. They were sent to strengthen the infantry for the attack of August. Now the 8th and 10th Light Horse Regiments, the ones who were sent in to attack at the neck, and Hall was one of those who charged. He was one of only seven officers of the 8th Light Horse Regiment to survive. This panorama is his tribute to the 8th Light Horse. He was wounded, managed to drag himself back to his trenches. He was evacuated to hospital in Egypt. While he was there, he did this panorama. It's as though you had your back to Anzac Cove, with Suva Bay to the north on the left, and the extreme edge of the Anzac position to the right in a kind of circular panorama, concave panorama. In the middle, he is put in, in print, where the 8th and 10th Lice Hawk regiments were cut up. He wrote to his mother about this later. It was published in a newspaper in Ararat. And with a lawyer's mind, he was a suburban lawyer in Launceston. <clears throat> he wrote that he'd worked out that there were no less than 5,000 rounds per minute being poured into the area where the two light horse regiments charged and died. He did this in Cairo. It was printed, as you can see, bottom right hand corner, by the Nile Mission Press. How many copies were done, I have no idea. He sent them back to his wife in Launceston, <clears throat> where they were twice advertised for sale at a shilling or a shilling and a penny posted, advertised only twice in 1916. <clears throat> How many of these were sold, I don't know, but I've been able to trace no other surviving copy. It's his memorial to the regiment in which he served.